a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people beautiful. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two. Future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot in the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones's resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Invincible. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look-see dude fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, John Bones Jones! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big leg kick lands. Just over two minutes to go. Oh! 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Hardy closes the distance, gets the single polo tie. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, blocks the shot. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Jones. there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here. Today. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems desperate to keep that title wrapped right around the world. Whoops. Oh, Jones gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Just missed with the left there. Oh, a huge block there. Nice one, two there. Well placed kick there by Johnny Bump. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Ten seconds. Ooh, what a punch. And they set. And that one certainly found the target. Oh. Oh. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready. Round two is on the way. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice knee to the body there by Jones. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Slips the punch. Able to land with the left hand. Still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Straight punch land. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. That's a big strike right there. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Oh! Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And they separate. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Just misses with the right. 
beautiful hook. A nice defense there. Huge. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh! And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round. So the location is okay, the cut on the cheek. But that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in. And if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Big kick lands. Under three minutes now to go in round three. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Great punch landed with so much power. Miss with that jab attempt there. Just over two minutes to go. Clinch. Ooh, big knee. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Whiffs on that offering. Connects with the right. Back and forth we go. Oh, big punch lands. Just misses with the straight right. soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. <laughs> the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, three seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, invincible. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.